Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector and it is Sunday, February 10th, 2019 and that means it is the second week of the month and time for another Country Spotlight. This month I am going to be highlighting the English editions from the United Kingdom. Because they have published basically all of Brandon's works in the UK, I am going to split this video into two parts and I have done the Cosmere part this week. I will do the non-Cosmere books, the Reckoner series, and so on next month. You can see most of these editions on the shelves right here behind me. Almost all of the editions of Brandon's books that are published in the UK are published by Galanx. Galance, I don't know how to pronounce it, is G-O-L-L-A-N-C-Z, and they are an imprint of Orion Books. As I go through the books, when I get to ones that are not published by Galanx, I will highlight those and point them out to y'all, but unless I say something else, assume that they are. Now, most of the books, when they're published in the UK, are not published as translations. They simply take the United States text and put it over in the UK edition. There are a handful of instances where they have UK-ified the text. I will show those when I get to them, but unless I say something again, just assume that it is the same text that is in the US edition. About the only other thing that you need to know about UK editions is that they come out on Thursdays. In the United States, we always get our book releases on Tuesdays. For most of Sanderson's books, especially these days, that means that the UK edition comes out two days after the US edition. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the books. Now, when I say that The Way of Kings is available as a UK hardcover, I do not mean that you can readily go out and find it. It has gone out of print and is not easy to find. But I recently did manage to get my hands on one, and this is what it looks like. Now, I really like the cover art that they do for the UK editions of Brandon's books. They follow this simple look with most of his series with a black art on white background with one color for the series, and the art is all done by Sam Green, which gives it a very cohesive look, which I really enjoy. Most people among the fandoms have a preference for either the US covers or the UK covers. For the Stormlight series, I prefer the US covers, which are done by Michael Whelan, but for almost all of the others, I prefer the UK covers, and I think they are absolutely amazing. Here are Words of Radiance and Oathbringer as UK hardcovers, and as you can see, we have the same theme with the same color, red, as the only color that is not a black, whiter shade of gray on the covers. The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and Oathbringer are all also available as tall paperbacks. These are the UK equivalent of the international paperbacks because the UK publisher also publishes Brandon's books in a couple of other countries, the main one that I know of being Australia, and the editions that they get there are these international paperbacks. Usually these paperbacks come out at the same time that the hardcover does. And the smaller paperbacks, which are the equivalent of our mass market paperbacks, come out much later. When The Way of Kings was released as a smaller format paperback, it was released with a new cover, again with cover art by Sam Green, again following the theme of redness. However, when they got to Words of Radiance, they realized that Brandon's books were too long to fit into a single volume in this smaller format, and so they started splitting them up, and that means that Way of Kings got retroactively split as well. And here are the split versions, part one and part two of Way of Kings. Part one has the cover art for the hardcover, and part two has a new cover art that was again commissioned for this edition from Sam Green, both of which again follow the red theme for the Stormlight Archive series. And part one right here actually has an afterword by Brandon that explains why the book was split and why it was split at this point and why you should go ahead and go on and read part two of Way of Kings, which is pretty cool. That is unique to the UK edition as far as I know. With Words of Radiance, there is no single book edition of the small format paperback. Instead, we get part one, which has the cover from the hardcover edition, and part two, which has new cover art commissioned by Sam Green, and both are again following the red theme of the Stormlight Archive series. And part two has a typo on the back. It says, Dalinar Colon, who leads the human armies, his sister Yajna, who is very much not his sister. So that is one of the additions that you collect if you are looking for typos. It says his sister Yajna right there on the back. I am not sure if this was corrected in later editions of this title. This is a first printing of the second part of Words of Radiance in paperback, and it has the new ending from the US paperback edition of Words of Radiance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and look that up online or send me a question and I can link you to a thread 
that will explain it. Both the hardcover and large format paperbacks that I have of Words of Radiance in the UK edition have the original ending. I do not know and I do not think that they have updated the ending, but if you know of a UK edition that is not the split paperback where they have the updated ending, please let me know because I will need to go find that. And here are the split paperbacks for Oathbringer. The only thing they changed in the artwork was to move the sun so that it is directly behind Yasna's head and splits on the two-part cover more evenly. And that very much emphasizes how they like the red sun as a motif, not just the color red. And of all the covers, only the non-split paperback of Way of Kings and the cover for Edge Dancer do not prominently feature this red sun. And for some reason, they decided to make the spines black on these where all the previous ones had white spines. So yay for non-matching spines. Another note, while the hardcover has the US text of the book, the paperback editions, the smaller paperbacks like this, have a UKified edition of the text where, for example, quotes around a sentence are single quotes instead of double quotes like they are in the US. And some words such as, for example, Civilization here on the back of Oathbringer is spelled with an S instead of a Z like we would in the United States. And I just checked and that is also true for the non-split paperback of Way of Kings. It has the UKified text with the single quotes and the spelling changes of the words. No discussion of the Stormlight Archive is complete without Edge Dancer and they have published Edge Dancer as a standalone novella in the short format hardcover which has no dust jacket the cover art by Sam Green again with the red motif is printed on the boards. This is not my favorite cover art because it shows Lyft wearing very anachronistic clothing, but hey, what can you do? And this edition does not have UKified text. It still has the double quotes and so on and looks like it was pulled directly from the US edition. Here is the UK edition of Elantris and this is the only edition that exists, this smaller format paperback in one volume and it has cover art again by Sam Green, this time with a green theme, which will likely be the theme that they use for any sequels to Elantris whenever those come out. This one is a sixth printing and it has a preview, the prologue and prelude from Way of Kings in the back of the book, so I obviously need to get an earlier printing at some point that does not have that because Elantris was originally published in the UK in 2005 and Way of Kings was not out until 2010, so the preview obviously came later, and the UK edition of Elantris has the US text. And here is Warbreaker in the UK edition with Sam Green cover art, and Warbreaker is the only one that has more than one color on the cover of all of the Sanderson books in the UK editions with the Sam Green cover art, and that is very appropriate for a book that is all about color and breath and, well, more color. And so this is some pretty cool cover art. I definitely prefer this cover art to the US cover art, although I know lots of people like the US cover art as well. And like Elantris, this one is the US text, and I somehow also have this one signed by Brandon. I did not intentionally buy a signed copy. I have not gone and gotten this one signed by Brandon. It just showed up when I ordered it and was signed. Sometimes I think it's harder to find unsigned books from Brandon than it is to find signed ones. The original Mistborn trilogy has one of my favorite sets of artwork on the UK editions. It has this motif featuring Vin in blue on all three of them coming closer with each cover. You can see it outlined here on the spines and it looks even more amazing on the actual covers and they are available in this very nice box set as well if you like to get them as a set. So here is the cover of Mistborn, The Final Empire, showing Vin with the backdrop of a city, probably Luthadel. And then here is another one showing Vin facing the viewer as a much larger figure. And then finally for the third one, we get a close-up of Vin's face staring at us looking very determined and very dangerous. Of note, the UK edition of The Final Empire is the only UK edition of any of Brandon's works, Cosmere or not, that actually has a title change. In the United States, the title is Mistborn with a subtitle of The Final Empire, which sometimes does and sometimes does not even show up on the front of the book. In the UK, it is simply The Final Empire. All three of these books have the US edition text without UK changes to them, and in addition, they have it at a slightly odd awkward format for this size. That is because, as far as I can tell, 
It was drawn directly from the US mass market paperback and they just put it on this slightly larger paper size, maybe blew it up a tad and said, okay, here's our books, we're selling them. And so that's the UK editions of the original Mistborn trilogy. As far as I know, there are no hardcovers or large format paperbacks of these with these covers and as these releases. However, as the years have been going by and we get the 10th anniversary editions of the Mistborn series in the United States, we have also been getting a 10th anniversary series of Mistborn in the UK. For the 10th anniversary, these medium format hardcovers with gray covers and gold gilding on them were released and they have UKified text. However, they do not have the 10th anniversary text with the changes that were made to the US editions for the 10th anniversary leather bounds. And the cover of The Final Empire looks like this. The cover of Well of Ascension looks like this. And the cover of Hero of Ages looks like this. And as far as I can tell, this is not cover art by Sam Green. The back cover of the books says coverartus-now.com or us-now, I'm not sure. So these are the only way to get the Mistborn trilogy in hardcover in UK editions. Mistborn Era 2 has hardcover editions in the UK with these interesting but not particularly evocative of the book covers. Um, here is the cover for Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self and Bands of Mourning. And these are, of course, available as large format paperbacks and small format paperbacks as well in the UK. To finish out the UK editions of Brandon's Cosmere works, there are two more things to talk about. One is The Emperor's Soul, which you can get in multiple formats. And the first of those is this bind up of Legion in The Emperor's Soul, which I will talk about again next month when I talk about the non-Cosmere editions of Brendan's UK works. And this edition is available as a hardcover and a large format paperback. I do not believe that it is available as a small format paperback. However, if you want just The Emperor's Soul, it is available as one of these small format hardcovers with a really cool piece of art. Although I do not believe that the soul stamps shown on the cover are canon. And the last story to talk about of Brendan's that is available in a UK edition is this one, it is Shadows for Silence in the Forests of Hell, which was originally published in the anthology Dangerous Women, edited by Gardner Dizois and George R. R. Martin. And Dangerous Women is published by Harper Voyager in the UK. It is the only book that I am showing this week that is not published by Glance. And Harper Voyager is an imprint of HarperCollins. And it is in here with the US text. It does not have any UKification to the text. And as far as I know, this is only available as a hardcover. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And of course, all of those stories are available in the bind up of Arcanum Unbounded, which is out in hardcover, large format paperback and small format paperback with this cover art showing a scene that I believe is from Mistborn's Secret History. And those are the UK editions of all of Brandon's Cosmere works. If you have any questions about the books I showed or know about editions that I didn't talk about, please let me know in the comments or leave your question or whatever and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until next month, happy collecting.